Hundreds of San Diegans joined a nationwide protest today against the proposed Keystone oil pipeline that would stretch from Canada down to Texas. Protesters call for President Barack Obama to block the controversial project and demand greater efforts against global warming. News 8 Shannon Handy is live at Mission Bay with more on today's rally. Shannon. That's right, Phil and Marcel, well, that protest happened here along Mission Bay, and organizers say this actually served as the perfect backdrop. Now, even though the pipeline starts in Canada and will travel Midwest to the East Coast, they fear what it could do to our water sources here, and that brought up some other concerns as well as possible solutions about how to clean up our environment. If you were driving down Interstate 5 Sunday, you may have noticed protesters, hundreds of them, standing along the Claremont overpass. I think our nation has been tugged in so many directions for so long that we're just not getting on with, the, the, with what really matters. What really matters, they say, is cleaning up the environment by using renewable energy and banning the Keystone XL pipeline, which would deliver oil from Alberta, Canada's oil sands project to Gulf Coast refineries. If we're going to save our beaches in San Diego, We've got to get our heads out of the sand. San Diego Mayor Bob Filner opposes a keystone and hopes the Obama administration will do the same. This is a 19th or 20th century approach to a 21st century problem. Uh, we can do better. He and other keystone opponents say it would contribute to global warming by emitting more CO2 into the air. They'll be bringing dirty oil if they come. Sunday's protest coincided with ones nationwide, including the largest in Washington, D.C. Still, the project does have strong support from those like Nebraska Governor Dave Heineman. Among other things, he says the pipeline would give the economy a much-needed boost. We're talking about jobs for Nebraska and jobs for America. Others, however, don't buy that logic, saying the future is at stake, especially for the younger generation, like seven-year-old Ariana. So the earth can stay clean and because the earth is good. And back out here live, protesters got their message across by also using chalk. You can see here along Mission Bay, they wrote no Keystone Pipeline. So they're doing everything they can to send their message to the Obama administration. Now, coming up new at 630, I spoke with Mayor Bob Filner. He says he wants San Diego to lead the way with renewable energy. So new at 630, I'll tell you his plan. Back to you guys. Shannon, it looked like there were a lot of people out there today. What about the police? Uh, I'm sure they were there as well. Did they have any issues at all with the crowd? The protests remained peaceful. There weren't any opponents here. The police were here, especially because, as you saw in that story, the protesters stood along the overpass. It was a bit dangerous because there were so many of them, so the police actually had to tell some of the protesters to back up off the street just for their own safety. All right, News 8 Shannon Handy, Live Force tonight in Mission Bay. Thank you very much, Shannon. Thousands gathered today in Washington, D.C. to protest a pipeline that will carry oil from Canada to Texas, a pipeline that some say will cause irreversible damage to our planet. Hundreds gathered here with the same concerns along Mission Bay. That's where we find 10 News reporter Jennifer Jensen live with a president's for pres message for President Obama and what a proponent of the pipeline is telling 10 News. Jennifer. Well, good evening, Itika. Hundreds of San Diegans marched right here in this park, right along Mission Bay, and then they took their march right up this bridge and this overpass over the I-5 at Claremont Drive, and they took their message to those people who drove by. But supporters that we spoke with of the project tell 10 News the pipeline will create tens of thousands of U.S. jobs. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Keystone Pipeline, got to go. San Diegans joined the nationwide protest today to stop the Keystone XL Pipeline project, a pipeline which will deliver bitumen slurry to the Texas coast to create refined petroleum products like gasoline. The project out of Alberta, Canada is being funded by a Canadian company, but they'll run its pipelines down through the U.S. There was a huge protest in Washington, D.C. today to send a message to President Obama about the long-term effects of this pipeline on the environment, a similar message here from hundreds in San Diego. Every time they measure the glaciers, they're retreating more quickly than we think. So people could say, well, that's not a local issue because the pipeline's not going through here. Well, also because we have scripts, we have access to the best scientists in the world. There is absolute consensus in the scientific world that we have too much CO2 in the atmosphere. So now we want to take an extremely dirty oil that is very energy intensive even to get it here and then it's even dirtier to burn. So it's a bad idea.
But a spokesperson from the American Petroleum Institute says the pipeline will create tens of thousands of U.S. jobs. Understand that the protest you're seeing today is not against this pipeline. It's against fossil fuels. They believe that not building Keystone is going to end the oil sands production in Canada, and that's simply not true. The Canadians are going to produce this resource. They're going to sell it. The question is, is it going to go to China or is it going to go here? So back out here live, local scientists from Scripps expect the sea level to rise 12 to 18 inches by the year 2050 or earlier due to global warming. Now, how San Diegans say that will impact San Diego, specifically right here along Mission Bay. That's new at 6 o'clock. Live along Mission Bay, Jennifer Jensen, 10 News. Dozens of San Diegans joined environmentalists across the country to rally against the controversial Keystone oil pipeline. They gathered today along Mission Bay to oppose the pipe, which is des designed to carry oil from Canada to the U.S. They're also urging President Obama to reject the pipeline and take action on climate change and move the nation to a greener energy future. There were also protests around the country, including Washington, where thousands of people converged on the National Mall for a climate change rally. They marched to the White House, also demanding the president reject the Keystone Pipeline. Hundreds of San Diegans joined a nationwide protest today against the proposed Keystone oil pipeline that would stretch from Canada down to Texas. Mayor Bob Vilner joined in the protest and spoke to the crowd about his renewable energy plan. News 8 Shannon Handy has more from Mission Bay on today's rally. You can see chalk marks left behind from this afternoon's protest. Now, while the main focus was that pipeline, many people here today also discuss climate change and what we can do to help stop it. A nationwide campaign to ban the Keystone XL pipeline, which would deliver oil from Alberta, Canada's oil sands project to Gulf Coast refineries, made its way to San Diego Sunday. We don't want the world to boil. Hundreds of protesters stood along this overpass above Interstate 5 with signs reading things like tarnished and move beyond fossil fuels. We actually have a worldwide problem. And if we don't solve a big problem, it's going to impact everybody. Mark Reynolds of Citizens Climate Lobby helped organize today's event. He and others like Mayor Bob Filner fear the pipeline would raise water levels and contribute to global warming by emitting more CO2 into the air. It exacerbates climate change. It exacerbates the, uh, the amount of CO2 that's uh, put into the atmosphere. But I will tell you, uh, our beaches are going to be the first threatened. The, the concern, he says, been, isn't just about the pipeline, the but the need for more renewable energy sources like solar power. That's where his citywide plan comes in. Publicly, we're going to, for example, solar power all our public buildings. But we're going to ask all our private companies, uh, and, and we're going to put incentives in our permitting processes for net zero kinds of uh, construction. People here say the need for change is real, and the ability to do so is easier than some may think. Fossil fuels and that old type of uh, path for energy isn't necessary. What do you want to tell people about making the earth clean? If they see a piece of litter and they pass it by, I will just go and pick it up or tell them to go pick it up. Despite the opposition to the pipeline, there's also a lot of support. In fact, Nebraska's governor is asking the Obama administration to approve the project, saying it will have minimal effects to the environment and it will boost the economy by creating jobs. Back to you. Environmental groups were out in full effect today protesting the proposed Keystone XL pipeline and also encouraging action on climate change. The Keystone pipeline is a line designed to carry oil from Canada to the Texas coast. The Environmental Health Coalition believes San Diego and the nation deserve better. They say the pipeline would bring to the U.S. an extremely dirty kind of fuel that would only worsen the climate change for the nation. If we exploit these tar sands from Canada, we will be uh, making the problem a lot worse. So what we want the president to do is stop the pipeline, start taking leadership on climate, and do things like um, you know, put in policies that would um, forward clean, renewable energy. The Mission Bay Rally is also in conjunction with a nationwide forward on climate rally in Washington, D.C., San Francisco, and other major cities, all in the effort to urge elected leaders to address the climate crisis. Environmental groups rallied in several cities today, including right here in San Diego. They say they want President Obama to put a stop to the building of the proposed Keystone XL pipeline. KUSI's Bridget Nasa was at that rally at Mission Bay Park. 
Activists gathered in San Diego and across the country today to say that this type of energy is dirty and will add carbon dioxide to the atmosphere and contribute to the problem of global warming. They think with so many other clean energy options out there, to build this pipeline would be a move in the wrong direction. More than 500 environmental activists rallied at Mission Bay Park to send a message to President Obama to follow through on his statements in his inaugural and State of the Union address to address climate change. San Diego is one of a number of large cities across the U.S., including Los Angeles, San Francisco, and Washington, D.C., where an estimated 35,000 people turned out to ask the president not to grant a permit for the Keystone XL pipeline. John Reeves is with the Citizens Climate Lobby. If President Obama is to uh, approve the Keystone XL pipeline, it basically unleashes all of the currently landlocked tar sand oils in Canada. So we're drawing the line in the tar sand, so to speak. Climatologists say the process of tar mining, which in this case would take place on nearly 87,000 square miles of forest land in Alberta, Canada, would cause a significant amount of CO2 to be released into the atmosphere. And the pipeline would transport that slurry through the Midwest to Texas for refining. It's a step in the wrong direction. And if we keep using tar sands, then there, there is a big problem. It will be devastating. Stated. Jeff Severinghaus is a professor of geosciences at Scripps Institute of Oceanography and says there is no question that CO2 causes global warming. And furthermore, humans are adding CO2 to the atmosphere right now, and we know that's true because the type of carbon that's going into the atmosphere right now is totally different from the, the natural carbon. San Diego's mayor, Bob Filner, also made an appearance at the rally and had this to say about the pipeline. This is a 19th or 20th century century approach to a 21st century problem. But supporters of the pipeline say it's needed to bring gas prices down and reduce America's dependence on foreign oil. But Reeves says that would be minimal because most of the petroleum generated by the pipeline, he says, would be exported. You can fetch a whole lot more for a gallon of gasoline in Europe and South America than you can in America, and that's where most of this refined petroleum product would go. Because it's a, an international border issue, this is something that the president has complete control over. In the group's final act, they marched onto an overpass on Interstate 5, holding a large banner so that people driving by would get the message. And this rally is timely as the president rejected the Keystone XL pipeline in January of 2012, saying he wanted an environmental review and a decision is expected soon. In the newsroom, Bridget Naso, KUSI News. San Diegans joined a nationwide protest today against the proposed Keystone oil pipeline that would stretch from Canada to Texas. Protesters called for President Barack Obama to block the project and demanded greater efforts against global warming. Proponents of the pipeline say it would create tens of thousands of jobs boost the economy, lower gas prices, and reduce the demand on foreign oil. Mayor Bob Filner spoke at today's rally. We have got to participate as a city in solving these problems. This affects us personally, but it affects the whole world, and we're going to take our role uh, as a responsible city and try to lead the nation into doing the right thing. Mr. Filner speaking about climate change. Thousands held a climate change march today in Washington.